Good day everyone, this is Train Kid Chris again with another H&M Sim tutorial video. Since other people have not understood the first one, I have decided to make a second one. And most of you guys understand it, most of you guys don't understand it. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to teach you guys another trick that I used to use when converting a train into H&M Sim without having to ever go through the folders of the struggle and going through listing everything. That's That's beyond that. So, I'm just going to show you guys something interesting, and we're going to do a test on uh, my phone as well. Um, I won't be doing a direct connection to my phone. I'll be showing you how to do it automatically from a download site if you don't want to use your phone, or if you don't want to connect your phone to your computer, or if you just want to use your phone to download it, and wherever not. Uh, I'm going to show you guys a simple trick today. So, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to select the train folder. So, I'm going to choose the, uh, the 142A. And it's going to be uh, the two-wheel set right here. And now what I'm going to tell you guys what to do today is that I'm going to show you how to use H&M Sim without creating the folders for your train or the folders in general. And it'll automatically create a folder for you. So you're going to open up Convert BVE. This is the H&M Sim file that you're going to need to compress all your uh, Open BVE documents and uh, sounds and etc. from the PC down to the, uh, to the mobile version. Double click that and you're going to come up to the HMM Sim uh, route converter and it says route files. The route files are basically where you're going to locate the route that you want to use. So we're, today we're going to be doing the six and this will be released for uh, you guys to have fun with. I will be doing maybe three of them and then after that I'll release another one for you guys so you don't have to go through that same problem. Um, what you're going to do now is you're going to click on this and it's going to say Pelham Bay Park downloads routes and then wherever. This part right here is where you're going to locate the file that you want to convert. That's what you want to do. This is going to be where you want to send the file. So I'm going to delete that. And we're going to name it the NYCT6 test, right? That's what we're going to name it. And we're going to save it. Now, you guys are going to see texture max size, reduce one. Don't touch any of these. Don't touch any of them unless you know what you're doing. So, what you want to do now is that you want to actually click convert. And you're going to see a folder called TMP come up. TMP is a folder that comes up when it's converting. What you want to do quickly is copy this, go here, and paste all of this in here. And what does this do, you ask? Well, basically, when you're using H&M Sim Converter, there's a folder that has to come up called TMP. TMP is the file conversion. So the application would use it and compress this. So once what I've just done is that I've taken the all my uh, my run sounds and a little bit of photos and stuff, even though the cabs don't really work. But what I didn't do is I didn't uh, include the exterior and this uh, the folder right here called sound. I don't think it's really needed. Uh, no, it's needed. Um, I'm gonna have to redo that. So it will automatically delete itself once you uh, one, once that happens. So what you want to do is you want to go back here again, convert BVE, uh, click on the route, click here, delete that. If it doesn't work, don't force it. It's going to automatically delete itself. So now we have this again, and we're just going to put test two. We're gonna name it test two. This time, I didn't. I forgot the sounds because this is the 142A two wheels, which comes with an extra sound folder. So you want to copy all of these things right here and have it with you. What I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna explain it properly. Once a TMP folder comes up, you want to make sure you run to the folder quickly and go into the train folder and paste all of the sounds and uh, the train dot data file. The train dot data file is the file to make your train work from sounds to the to the uh, propulsion system, which means it's just moving itself to all that kind of stuff. So that's what you want to do. You want to get that train dot data file, which can be opened up in route viewer. I mean, uh, train editor. My bad. You can open it up in train editor using one of the programs that they give you. And in H and M Sim, your train speed is going to be different than what's on the computer. So you're going to see a delay in time or anything like that. So basically, that's what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have everything ready so when it converts, you can get in that folder fast. 
if the conversion stops after you have managed to get inside the file, that means you better quickly paste it and get out of that folder so it doesn't get corrupted. Well, which means it won't uh, finish compressing everything in time and it's not going to work. That's what corrupted means for this. So what you want to do now is that you want to go back here and you want to wait for this. So we're going to click convert and we're going to go back into the TMP folder if it's available. And you want to replace that quickly and you want to get out of here and it's going to convert. The conversion goes very fast as you can see which really does not waste time and it's a really good thing but you have to consider that if you're going to take your train uh, exterior there's no need for it because you can't see anything yet until H&M Sim 2 is available which would not be until August September in that area which uh, Jemini or Jemimi whatever you call his name has uh, said that it will be released for um, for that time so that's what you basically want to do and yeah so wait for it to finish convert Frick! Alright, and the compression is starting, which is a good thing. Alright. Okay, now that it's fini fin uh, finally completed, every time you finish with this, it would automatically delete itself. So once you go back here, it's automatically deleted. That's what's going to happen, so you don't have to touch anything, you don't have to worry about anything, saving where not. So, your train and your routes are now combined together as one. So what you want to do is that you want to go to your routes and trains. Go to your route folder, and you'll see a package that indicates number two. So what you want to do now is that you want to take it and upload it. Mommy told me to put it there. Locate the file that you... Can you shut up? I'm recording. And you want to upload the file. Now, since I'm uploading this via Google Documents, it'll be really easy for uh, me to pick it off, so rather than media fire, but you can use it as well there. So what you want to do now is that you want to pick up the file by uploading it, and after that, you want to install it onto your your device and I'm going to show you guys how to do that manually rather than doing it on the computer so if somebody converts something for you or you download something off of BB stations or the OBND website uh, you can automatically send it down to your folder without having to use a computer to do it which is way more easier than some people getting upset and then don't know what to do so I'm going to show you guys how to do that as well so let's let it finish uploading
file is almost complete, so let's just give it a few minutes. This part of the video will be cut out as well, so don't worry about anything. Testing one two three. 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 Wow. Never mind. Alright, now that the file is uploaded, now we're going to use my phone to navigate through and understand how to do this. So, we'll be back on PC very soon. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, right now, we are in the mobile version of H&M Sim. You guys are on my phone at the moment. So, what we're going to do is that now that I've downloaded the folder and the file, what we're going to do is that uh, we're going to take the, uh, the folder... Since if you don't want to do it on um, PC, you can always do it on your phone. So you're going to go to the Z Archiever folder and you're going to see at the top NYCT6 test2.zip is the file that we had in the uh, the video that we were doing on my desktop. Uh, so right now you're going to go back and you're going to go click this button. You want to make sure you get the zip folder because if you just take pieces of it, you won't be able to put it back together properly. So what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to go back. That's what you want to do. You want to go back with this. And you want to take the data and you want to make sure you bring it all the way back. And then you're going to locate until you find like nothing much. And you're going to look around your folder until you come to your storage. And then you're going to go to emulated number zero. And here we go. And you guys are going to see all of your apps and other things that you might think like are the apps that you have. H&M Sim, Lazy List, Media, Memes, and all these other things. Uh, so we're going to go to H&M Sim, and right here is where you see your J train, your A, D, F, M, whatever train you have and whatnot. And what you want to do now is that you want to paste it by clicking this button. Using the ZR Achiever, it's another form of uh, using uh, 7-Zip. It's just uh, in a mobile version. So like you could extract files, package files and stuff, but uh, just uh, zipping all your H&M Sim files into your... your uh, this is going to eat a lot of space. Now, load up into H&M Sim by going here. So, uh, um, please be advised that the volume will be loud. I will lower it down just so you guys don't hurt your ears on the PC version or if you're using your mobile version without volume control. So, as you guys can see now, the 6 test 2 is right here. NYCT 6 test 2.zip, Pelham Express, and we're not. Um, right now, what you're going to see is the route going to load up. You will see errors in between here and there, but I, it shouldn't be much of a problem. It should be a really simple fix in the end. Um, just click OK and go run it. So we're going to see if it works. If it doesn't work, then uh, we must have done something wrong in the process, which can be fixed as well. So let's just give it a few seconds. OK, now, now you guys will see like a bunch of errors and stuff and whatnot. Just click OK and uh, yeah. I knew there was going to be a lot of errors. Um, most of the time, the routes would not converge as properly as they should. It shouldn't mostly be a problem. As you guys can see, we have our train. We can do this. And it works. So basically what's going to happen now is that since we have the route working, Uh, 
see what happened here with the things that are possible to be in this game. So that means that it's not really going to be a problem fully. So when you guys see like a white world or no tracks or nothing, it's just missing objects. I will redo this for uh, those who want to download it so you can have an accurate as to what's going on. Um, to actually do this, what I showed you on the computer version, you're going to have to go to your TMP folder when it's actually uh, compressing. And you're going to have to dump the, the sound and the train data only because you don't need your exterior, which is going to take a little bit more time from you. And if the package is fully completed and you're not even done yet with uh, half your textures from your exterior view, it's not going to really work. So you only want your sounds, your train data, and that's it. You don't need the cab. You don't need nothing else. All you need because uh, there's no cab, as you can see here in the the um, the version right now. So basically, uh, if you have any questions, comment, like, subscribe. Help us out with OpenBV multiplayer. We are actually in the position to get the dispatch board into the uh, multiplayer feature right now. If you haven't checked it, there's a link below. There's a link below for the donations. Uh, the donations are, again, the um, where you help out the multiplayer, and in the end, you'll get the hands-on first to test it out, and you'll have the hands-on to uh, actually uh, test it, the dispatches board and whatnot. Uh, this is scheduled to be released, hopefully, in December for Christmas, if not, then the mid-spring, if we can get the donations. High as donators get the prizes, which are stated below. Like, uh, like and subscribe. Anybody else has any questions, please let me know by commenting. Have a great day. I'll see you back soon.